leaves me wondering Where does she go, 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 go Go, go, go Where does she go, go, go Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to show you two quick hairstyles that you can do when your hair is either too greasy to just leave it down or when you're trying to make it last that one extra day before you have to wash it. If you guys do decide to do any of these hairstyles, definitely make sure you post a picture on Twitter or Instagram and you tag me in it. I'll leave my username for both of them down below. And if you found this video helpful at all, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I upload every Sunday. Also, thank you so much to my friend Ethan Butler who let me use his music. I'm going to make sure I link his channel down below so that you can go and show him some love as he follows his dream of becoming a singer. To do either of these looks, you're only going to need three simple items. The first one is going to be a teasing brush or comb. The one I use is the Wigo Color Teasing Brush. It was only $3.99 at Ulta. You're going to need some type of dry shampoo. I like the Big Sexy Hair Volumizing Dry Shampoo. And you're just going to need bobby pins that match the color of your hair. For the first look, you're just going to follow whatever your natural part is of your hair. You want to avoid the middle so your hair doesn't look too flat. And then you want to go ahead and you're just going to grab three pieces of hair. You want to make them about equal in width. I'm doing mine a little bit thicker just because I want my braid to be pretty thick. I don't want a super thin tiny braid. Um, I want it to cover up most of the oily hair. And then you're going to go ahead and just start braiding the hair like a normal braid. So if you haven't braided your hair before, you just have the middle piece and you put the left piece over it. And then the left piece becomes your center piece. You put the right piece over the center piece. So your right piece becomes your center piece. Um, so you're basically taking either the left or the right and you're going back and forth moving it over the center piece of hair. So the center piece is always changing and you just continue that until you're about halfway through the braid. And then when your braid is about halfway or three quarters of the way is where I like it. Just kind of pull it back and see if it's a, a place where you feel comfortable tucking your hair back. I liked it right there, so I went ahead and I grabbed my bobby pin. You're going to use the ridges, the ridge side down, and you're going to place that right above your ear. Once you feel like the pin is secure and it's going to hold your hair back, I like to go ahead and just fluff out the rest of my hair. Mine is pretty messy, but I like my hair a little bit messier. I don't like it super clean looking. And as you can see, the bobby pin is the same color as my hair. It's firmly in there. The greasy part of my hair is hidden with the braid, and I just have it tucked back. You can definitely tease parts of your hair, um, but I didn't feel that was necessary for mine. And that is your finished look, your super basic braid. Alright, this next look is just your basic fun bun, but a little bit more cleaned up if you have to go to work or school or anywhere where you have to be seen and you don't want your hair to be super messy. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my teasing brush and I'm going to part my hair um, just at the very top. This hair right here, I'm going to tease to just give it a little bit more volume on top of my head. So what you do when you tease it is you hold your hair straight up and then you brush it kind of in like a C motion. So I'm pushing in as I brush. And then I'm going to take the dry shampoo and I'm going to spray it all in where I tease. And I'm going to go back and tease a little bit more. Some people spray it with hairspray too. Um, I just personally don't like to use hairspray. Dry shampoo gives me the volume I need right there. And then I'm just kind of brushing out the top, making sure it has enough volume for me. Um, you can keep teasing it a little bit more if you want it stiffer, if you want more volume. I just personally like my hair a little bit messier. And then I'm going to go ahead and start parting my hair um, as if I was doing just a regular half up, half down ponytail. And once I have all the hair I want to put up, Instead of tying it with a hair tie, I'm just going to go ahead and twist it into a little bun right on top of my head. 
once the bun is twisted, um, I'm going to make sure I have the tail in the back and then I'm just going to stick two bobby pins in to secure it. So the tail is in the back, kind of under the bun, so you can't really see it. And I'm just putting the bobby pins in to make sure it doesn't fall out. And then I like to just go back to the front, pull out some hairs to make it a little bit messier on top, and then if there's any flyaways you want to brush away, you can. I know I accidentally left mine out. Don't judge me. Um, but that is it. So it's just like having a messy bun, but you still have some of your hair down. So it looks like you did a little bit of work and put a little bit of effort. And it gives you that one extra day of dirty hair. You ain't ready, no. You think you can hold a tie. She moves like the wind.